This is the SV2 Mark II Stirling engine project. Uh, this is an air charged Stirling engine that's uh, an alpha configuration machine that is based off a Chrysler RV2 uh, auto air conditioning compressor. This uh, engine is uh, run at a higher than atmospheric pressure and its maximum pressure capability is 175 psi. That's the design uh, pressure that this engine is uh, to run at. And uh, again, it's an alpha configuration with a flame impingement uh, heater that uh, uses propane as the fuel. It features a finned internal and external heater head made of 316 alloy stainless. Uh, regenerator, which is a foil type regenerator, and an annular finned cooler and then the connecting pipe over to the uh, compression side. Um, you can see the, the finning in the heater head. Uh, this is of course the cylinder block of the original refrigeration compressor and all of these uh, additional components to convert this into a Stirling engine have been specially designed and made. Um, being that it's an alpha configuration machine, the, all the heat exchange components, that would be the heater, regenerator, and cooler, are all on the uh, side of the displacer. Uh, this close pack type assembly is key to good performance in an alpha configuration Stirling. This pressure gauge registers the amount of charge pressure that's in the engine. Uh, air is the working fluid and right now the gauge is showing about 90 psi for this run. As the engine heats up this pressure of course will increase and it will go up to about 120 psi. The engine is still in the prototype testing stage and this burner is insufficient to maintain continuous running performance at this time. So when the running demonstration begins will allow the burner to heat the heater head up to a red heat at which time we'll start the engine and it'll run until all the heat is depleted from the heater head. Again the burner just cannot keep up with uh, the demands of the engine at this time. The goal is to uh, obtain about 700 watts crankshaft power and this will be a generator set when completely finished. The engine will operate a small um, permanent magnet alternator and uh, we're hoping for about four to five hundred watts of electrical output. Right now the engine will turn up to 1800 RPM but again that's momentarily uh, due to the fact that the heater doesn't supply enough heat energy into the heater head. Uh, the engine is water cooled and uh, the lubrication is, uh, this is a, an oil lubricated engine and the oil used is a special synthetic uh, lubrication with a real high flash point and that's provided by the Nye Corporation. Uh, we will now get the engine assembled and ready for a, a test run and uh, again this will be brief but at least you'll get to see that the engine actually operates